Meet the Antina 2S. This 3D printer is cute and compact, but it packs a lot of power. Let's take a look at it. Hey, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings. I am so glad you're here. If you are a crafter or maker of any kind, you are in the right spot. I've got new videos here every week that help you move forward in your creative journey. Today, we are looking at a 3D printer. This is a first for this channel. I have been thinking about a 3D printer for many years because I have some really specific ways I want to use it, and this is fitting the bill perfectly. So I want to go over all the different features and kind of talk about how this is filling a need that I had in my craft room. This is a really compact, small, lightweight 3D printer, but there's a lot that it can do. So a couple of features just on the outside that you can take a look at is its size, of course. It's got a nice light on the inside, an easy little on-off switch on the back here. There is a TF card slot on the top and an LCD screen that you can work with. What I love most about this machine is how easy it is to use. So I mentioned this is my first 3D printer. So I'm coming into this with really no real world knowledge on how to use this. And I was able to get this up and running in no time. So if you are new to the 3D printing world and you want some place to start, this is going to be a great place for you to start. So what can you use a 3D printer for? I think a lot of people get 3D printers because they're fun. There are so many different things you can create from little succulent pots to keychains and bookmarks and toys to really useful things. I made some plant stakes for my garden this spring and some pieces that I'm using with my laser machines. So not only can you have fun with these, but you can make some useful projects as well. The way a 3D printer works is really straightforward. You get these rolls of filament. This one actually came with the machine. And then I purchased some other colors as well. The filament goes on the side. It is fed through a tube and it comes out through a little nozzle that heats up and then protrudes the filament down into the specific shape to make whatever it is you want to make. So it's a really straightforward process on how it works. With some 3D printers, there is some technical knowledge you need in order to create these models that your 3D printer is going to make. The Antina model here makes it so easy. They have an app that I was able to walk through and start using right away. Let's talk about some of the more technical features of this machine. So compact, lightweight, easy to use. We have a surface right here that is auto leveling and that does heat up, making it really easy to make precise objects in here. Loading and unloading the filament through here is also very easy. Not only can you control this from the LCD screen on top, but you can do all of this right in the app. So let's talk about that app a little bit because my biggest concern when looking into a 3D printer was, do I have to learn new technology? Do I have to have a good understanding of G-code and slicing and importing to create? And I will tell you that you do not. You can know and understand all of that and still use this. But if this is your first 3D printer, you're going to be creating in no time. In the Polo Print app, when you open it up, you, un you unbox your machine, you plug it in, and it walks you through step by step with videos and tutorials on how to get this thing set up. You literally just keep clicking next through the app and you're going to be up and running. So I loved that part. Then once we get into the app, there are hundreds of projects already created in there for you to make. You pick the project that you like, you hit print, you specify a few settings on there, and it starts working. The project is sent from your phone to the 3D printer, and then you can go about your business, use your phone for something else, because the project is already sent to the printer and it is working. You are also able to upload your own designs. So if you do have a model that you really like that you've created, you can bring that in. So you are able to get more sophisticated with this, or you can use the projects that are already in the app. There are two really cool AIGC functions in the new Polo Print app that I have been loving. So the first AI function is the ability to take a picture with your phone 
of something and the software turns that into a model that you can print. Like this is so cool. So I took a picture of this little ceramic tomato that I have sitting in my craft room. You wanna keep it on a white background. And so I put a piece of like copy paper behind it, took that photo and the software analyzes it and it pops out a model. Now I was testing this for the first time. So I made the model a little bit smaller cause I just wanted to see what it would turn out like. And I printed this blue tomato. And if I look at these two together, they are exactly the same. I was so impressed with this. So not only is this fun to do, but if you have a piece in your home, maybe you have a clamp for your laser that is holding something together so your wood doesn't move around when you're using your laser, you could take a picture of that little clamp, model something, and then 3D print it so you have more. Think about maybe a corner guard that you're gonna put on something here. If you have one, you need another one. Take a picture of that and print it with this 3D printer. It is a really, really cool function. The second AI function in the app is text to model. So if you cannot find anything out there to take a picture of and you can't quite find the design anywhere, you can type out what you want it to create and it's going to generate a model for you. So there are so many different ways that you can get this printer to make what you want it to make using this app. And again, because it's AI, you don't have to have that deep te technological understanding of software to get this thing to print what you want it to print. I have created a number of different projects with the Antina 2S 3D printer, and my kids have been enjoying helping me pick out models to create, sizing them, picking out colors. So it's been a really fun family affair creating these. But I mentioned earlier in the video, I had a specific purpose for this. So if you're familiar with Creative Ramblings, we do a lot of work with lasers here. And when I am working with a laser and I put maybe a piece of wood or acrylic down and my air assist is on in the laser, sometimes that material can move around. So some lasers have clamps or things that can help hold your material down, but sometimes you need to create a jig or a holder that can just hold your piece in place. And so that is what I am working on with this printer. That was my original thought for why I've always wanted a 3D printer. I can create pieces that go with my specific lasers, print them out, super easy, and then go use them and put them to work. I will have more videos on this 3D printer specifically with how I'm using them for my laser, so be sure to subscribe and then you'll pick up on those videos when I do produce them. So let's walk through a project and I wanna show you exactly how easy this is to make using the Polo Print app and we're gonna send a project over the Polo Print app. So when you open it up, you've got all of these different projects that you can create. These are one touch projects. When we go over to device, the Antina 2S is already plugged in and it is connected via Wi-Fi. So I'm able to click on this and then I can do local control and I am able to do a lot right here on this screen. If I go over to control, I am able to load and unload filaments. And there are a lot of other detailed things you can do as far as moving things around. Everything can be controlled from the app. The community is a great place for video tutorials and just understanding your machine and 3D printing in general. So if you have questions, if you're not sure where to go, check out the community. Over in creativity is where we find all of those AI features, taking a photo to generate a model and then printing it, and a lot of other places to just get started. Some of these nameplates and pendants are great ways to get started and try something new. I have created a collection of projects that I really like and have created. This rabbit keychain is very fun. We can go ahead and make this. So it's that simple. I just click on the rabbit. It's going to show me what it looks like. Tells me what device it works with because Antina does make other mother machines, but it's compatible with my device. I just hit print. I can pick my material, I'm using PLA, it tells me the size of it. And you can do normal, I have also been doing fast, which seems to have decent quality, but just speeds up a little bit. And then all I do is hit start and it's gonna send it over to the machine.
So let me give you my final thoughts on this 3D printer. I think I've mentioned many times already, this is incredibly easy to use and that's one of my favorite parts about it. It is not a whole new technology you have to learn. You are creating with this right out of the box. It is budget friendly. So you are not breaking the bank to get this 3D printer in your home. I do have a link down in the description if you wanna take a look at it along with the current deals that are going on. I like that it doesn't take up a lot of space and I can move it around. So right now it's in my craft room. When I'm working with my lasers, I can put it down there and be creating while I'm lasering. So it's very versatile, very multifunctional. If you are a crafter and you are looking for a 3D printer to just have fun with and make cute little things, this is great. It is absolutely going to fit your bill. If you have something specific in mind, if you wanna make jigs for your laser, if you wanna make a blade holder for your Cricut machine, if you have specific things in mind that you think you could make for your craft room, this is a great place to start. You're gonna be able to make so much on this bed size right here that are going to help you in your craft room. If you wanna check out this 3D printer, again, there are links down in the description along with the current promotion going on. Go take a look at that. You're gonna love having this in your craft room. If you have more questions about this 3D printer, drop them down in the comments and be sure to subscribe. I will have more videos on this and there are new videos every week helping you move forward in your creative journey right here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.